Alan Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo. Maybe Flo. <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Alan Taylor will win. She's riding a new horse out of her champion Flo. Just one of her babies for baby Flo. For low to the Flo. Hush money. Hush money. Oh, the hush money. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel and... Welcome to Mega Ranch. Welcome to Mega Ranch. We are super excited to show you our brand new ranch. We still have the other one. That's where Ranch Dress and Headquarters is. It's Baby Flo's place. Now, we are gonna have horses here to answer a lot of your questions. I am gonna be training out of here. We are gonna be training out of the other place. We're occupying both places. The bad thing about having a husband that doesn't say no to horses is that instead of narrowing down the herd drastically, we have two ranches. So thank you so much for all the support along my journey. I just wanna say thank you. If you're subscribed, if you've ever liked anything or shared anything or been a part of my journey, thank you so much. Um, it's not a self-made journey. I definitely needed a village of people to help me get to where I am today. And I'm really, really grateful. For those of you that are kind of suffering in your own journey, let me just tell you that all of this, um, all of these amazing blessings come from all of those struggles, all of the loss, all of the times eating a lot of ramen noodles and driving a car with no AC, come down to this moment. When I came into this arena last night for the first time riding, I definitely shed a whole lot of tears and had a private moment with my family. So um, I wanna take you guys around now that it's kind of settled in just a little bit. We just got the keys yesterday, so we don't have anything moved in except for a couple of saddles. So let's show you around. All right, check out the arena. This is, of course, my very favorite part, second favorite, it's coming up next. This arena is 300 by 150, and it's got some really cool features that we don't need, but maybe I can invite Jackie Hobbs Crawford over to rope with us, but we have remote roping chutes, beautiful boxes. I don't know, maybe we'll break away at some point, who knows, but for now, yeah, for sure. For now, we have this gorgeous space, and I just got in my lasers this morning to put up in the roof so that we can basically time the colts without having to go to a jackpot. So we're still working on ground, we're waiting on sand to be delivered. Ground's really good, and Alex has been working overtime, but we don't have our new implement and our new tractor to be able to use this. The thing about two ranches <laughs> is you gotta have two of everything. Two tractors, two implements, two all the things. So little by little, um, we're working that in the budget to be able to get all those things. So next week we get the tractor and the implement for here. For right now, we stole from the other ranch. So let me take you to the features of this arena before we get into the barn. The big ass fan is really incredible because we all sit down here um, and watch each other ride. So the best part is this seating area is so cool and you can put your water and your whatever else right up here and then Harlow has made like a little play concession stand as we ride which is really cute so she sells us hot dogs and cotton candy and all that good stuff right here while we ride so that's really really cool I love that the next thing is there are speakers everywhere so as you ride one thing that we want to do is have the colts in here that are getting ready for rodeos and turn on like NFR soundtrack and just let it pump let the announcer's voice like just ring off the sides of this place so that they can get used to what that sound sounds like or just pipe in crowd noises or all that good jazz we're gonna do that so this is where we're gonna tie our horses I was gonna tie them on the concrete side but we really like tying them on dirt better 
out here is the walkthrough for a later tour of all 142 acres, but right there is our socked pond, which is just so incredible. And at sunset, and at sunset, it's magical. But here's our wash rack. It's not all totally cleaned up. The sellers still have some stuff that they're getting out. So waiting for them to grab some things, but I'm definitely putting some plants all up there and we're gonna have things here. Now it's time to get into the tack room, which is just We still have a lot of cleaning to do. We thought that it would be like spotless when we moved in, but as everybody moved their stuff out, we have to go back and like clean everything. These gorgeous cabinets are just incredible, but we have to go through and like take care of all of this wood. Um, we're gonna Roy G. Biv everything in here, like you guys know we love to do. So we're gonna put all of our saddle pads and all that good stuff. I did move some of my saddles from the trophy room in here, so I would just get to see them and enjoy them a little bit more. So plenty of stuff that we have in here. But again, this is a work in progress and we haven't moved one thing into the house, but you better believe we're moved into the tack room partially. So does have AC, our fridges um, for the entire place come this weekend. So we'll have a refrigerator with all of our Flex Pro meals and it'll have a crushed ice maker so that we can heat up our meals right here in the tack room. Because you know, going to the barn for a few minutes typically means you're gonna be there for like all the meals of the day. But really cool, um, just really beautiful cabinets. We don't really have enough stuff to like go in them, but at least when we do put stuff in here, it will be it's tucked snacks. away. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> snacks, lots of snacks. And then a bathroom in here. But for the next part that's above us right now, I'm gonna switch with Alex and have him give you the tour of what Lilo has deemed her treehouse. We're gonna head up to the arena apartment now. Follow me. Okay, this is the, I don't know, are we gonna call it the tree fort? Probably. But it's the uh, little apartment above the tack room. So we'll be kind of taking everything out, redoing it, making it feel exactly like how we're redoing the house. Has a little kitchenette. We'll have a mini fridge in there. And then it actually has a full size bathroom as well with a shower and a walk in closet. So friends that come stay are probably gonna stay in here once in a while, especially my single guy friends, because this is gonna be the spot to hang out. Obviously when the girls are riding, we can be up here hanging out in air conditioning, have a drink, watch them, hang out. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Okay, we're here in the barn. There's 11 stalls. The really cool part before we get into the barn is this giant round pin behind me. So check this out. Giant round pin complete with lights, amazing ground, and a big ass fan. So our very favorite part about this barn and what we felt like was just made it meant to be is there's two stallion stalls and we have two stallion prospects that just landed this year. So air to the flow and feel the flow. Now we have places that if they remain stallions, we can house them here. And on the back side of all of these stalls on the right side will be turnouts out on grass so that those horses will be able to roam inside and out every day if they're not in one of the big pastures. But our goal is to have everything out together separated by pasture outside. But Using these inside will be really fun because there's automatic waterers in every stall and there's a plug on every single stall with a switch to turn fans on and off. But again, we're barely moved in. We're just owned it for a couple of days now. So it's gonna take a little while. Now there's a tack room down at that end that is absolutely beautiful, the same size as this feed room. There's gonna be feed in here. Again, the sellers are still moving their stuff out, but really gorgeous space and we can't wait to come in, clean everything, declutter and make it absolutely beautiful. So this is the tack room inside the barn. This obviously has never been used, so we're really excited that this space is here to utilize however we need to. If you look directly around behind you, what you've got is ideal for Texas in the spring when it's super rainy. We can tack up inside this barn, walk underneath this covered walkway and directly into the arena without getting rained on. So I think that's one of my favorite features for sure. There's gonna to be tons of parts to this series of our new ranch. Um, so we'll get to it at another time when we're a little bit more moved in. But behind me is our garage. This is really cool because it can house two really giant, like six or seven horse trailers, or it's a 10 car garage. So that's really, really cool. And then around front is the barn dough, 
which we'll take you guys into when we're a little bit more moved in. Right now we're working on, we had to pull up the carpet and put in new floors. So those are being installed right now, right here in the front. But we think this is the perfect setup for us right now. Now, the, there is a home build site on the hill that we took you guys on. So the future, we will, build, we will be building a house similar to our house that we just sold up on that hill. Something that's really pretty that overlooks all the acreage. But for right now, we are super excited to move into this barn dough. So you can see we have a lot of work to do on flower beds and just general cleanup of everything um, that was left behind. So we have a little bit of work to do and inside the floors are being stained right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's a master suite right up here that overlooks the property and this will all sink in whenever I can have a cup of coffee and walk to that barn. So until then, we're still kind of feeling like we're in limbo and going back and forth and hauling horses back and forth to ride. but. We're so excited. Once we have horses moved in, us moved in, we'll give you guys another tour of the reno and all of the other things going on here. In the barn, I know everybody's gonna wonder what horses are coming over here, what horses are staying at the ranch. We call this mega ranch. So to mega ranch, my dream is to have baby Flo obviously standing in that barn so that I can see her every single morning. The colts, the young horses that are being worked by our trainer every single day, those are gonna remain at the ranch so that she can have that place and be able to work those horses really conveniently. The horses that we are currently competing on will stay over here so that we can conveniently work them around the barrels. And of course, there's gonna be a little mishmash in between. Um, I think most, more than likely when we go out of town, we will take baby Flo back to her current stall and just have her go back and forth. So that's the dream. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I can't wait to show you all the various parts. This is gonna be years in the making because there's gonna be a house on that hill at some point. So we're very excited to raise our son here. That was the whole point of this entire thing and um, I think we're really excited about our choices because this is a lot more room than in Dallas we're so excited you guys make sure you're subscribed to the channel ding that notification bell so you can be the first person to view the upcoming videos we have lots of rodeo action coming up as always don't forget to count your blessings drink your protein and say thank you to Jesus see you next time